A specific machine can operate in one of several states. Basically, there are two separate states with respect to security. There is a single state operation mode. The single state is a mode in which a system is capable of handling information at only one security level at a time. If you are accessing secret information, then a single state machine or a single state system would only be capable of providing information that is classified as secret. It could not handle top secret. It could not handle anything below the secret classification. Multi-state machines, on the other hand, are certified to handle information at multiple security levels at the same time. Now, this is far more complex than a single state. It doesn't sound like it's all that bad, but the idea behind multi-state operating systems and multi-state systems is that you can have different clients, different users on the same machine, accessing top secret, secret information, and perhaps even unclassified information all at the same time. The problem with that is that you have all of these documents at different security levels occupying some piece of memory. And the problem with it is that you could copy from one security state or one security level to another security level if you're not very careful. It's very expensive because there's a lot of additional controls that must be in place. It's also fairly difficult to maintain because there are many places where these inadvertent copies could occur. In order to implement a multi-state operating environment, you must have specific protection mechanisms that prevent that data from crossing the security level boundaries. These boundaries have to be defined so that you have a specific area within the system, a logical area within the system, where each different security level type document would reside.